What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to unbox and review for you guys uh, Cashmere by Ormond Jane London. This fragrance was actually sent to me by Ormond Jane, so huge shout out to them. Thanks for uh, sending this over. And of course I'll throw links in the description. I think they gave me like a 10% off code or something for you guys uh, if you end up being interested. So I'll just give you guys my honest opinions. Uh, I haven't always seen eye to eye with Ormond Jane. Some of their fragrances I'm like, eh, you know, but I'll let you know if this one's worth checking out, okay? This one is one of their new releases. Uh, it was released just this year and it scores pretty decently on Fragrantica 3.85. Uh, it's not at that 4.0 that I usually like to see, but it doesn't have a whole lot of votes yet just because it is so darn new. So yeah, so let's just get unboxing here. We'll check it out. The presentation, I will say, is always really good with Ormond Jane. So no hate there, you know, I can't, I can't complain there. They've got a nice kind of uh, orange placard here. And then the box opens up like this. They've got a little pamphlet that comes with the uh, fragrance. And then here is the bottle. Okay, so we'll pull out the bottle here. Check it out. Damn, that thing's in there really hard. And here's the bottle. The bottle presentation is always super, super good. So very high quality. It freaking better be for the price that it is because it is a niche fragrance. I mean, these are like two, 300 bucks a bottle, something like that. Um, so they better be worth it, you know, as far as presentation and everything else goes. The, here's the cap, super heavy metal cap, which is nice. Um, and then it has sort of this graded orange bottle here. Uh, really beautiful, actually. Uh, and then it says Cashmere Eau de Parfum. Um, so this is an 88 milliliter, okay? I'm not sure how much these go for again, cause they did send this to me, but yeah, I'll, I'll throw a link in the description for their website if you don't, if you wanna check it out and see what the price is. So here's the little pamphlet. It's talking about Kashmir. It says 4,000 meters above sea level, high altitude of snowy glaciers, pristine lakes and gushing rivers, blah, 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 blah. Talking about kind of the terrain and the, uh, the Kashmiri saffron that grows there as well as the blue poppies and uh, the plants and stuff that live in the Kashmir region. So yeah, it, it tells you the notes here, which are top notes of coriander, saffron, pink pepper, cardamom, and bergamot. Uh, middle notes of blue poppy, jasmine, rose, and iris. Okay, so a lot more floral in the middle notes. And then base notes of Himalayan cedar, cashmeran, which is a musk, uh, myrrh, sandalwood, benzoin, incense, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. So a bajillion notes there, that's interesting. It kind of goes away from the recent, you know, trend of companies just listing a couple of keynotes. Um, so yeah, so that'll be interesting to see. Enough chit chat, we'll give it a spray here. Pressurized atomizer as always, okay? If you're paying a premium, you better get a pressurized atomizer. And immediately I smell the pink pepper, okay. So immediately you're blasted with pink pepper, yeah, I get some of the saffron for sure. Some of the bergamot, definitely the citrusiness of it. Maybe a little coriander, maybe a little cardamom, but really it's mostly this nice bright pink pepper and saffron and bergamot. In it, I can tell that there's some rose in there, but it is not overly bearing on the rose. Don't worry, guys. This feels slightly more masculine leaning. It's definitely unisex, but uh, in the initial spray, it's slightly more masculine leaning. As far as when it gets into the heart and the base of it, I have sprayed this on myself several times so I can kind of tell you guys about the longevity and stuff. Um, and I would say then it starts to push back towards feminine. Overall, I would say it's a very unisex fragrance. I don't know what a blue poppy smells like. So I'm not sure if I'm getting blue poppy in here. I'm just getting a general floral and then the rose. Don't get a whole lot of iris. And then in the base notes, for sure, they're starting to pop through. They're popping through already. You can smell that cedar, that Himalayan cedar. Really nice, natural cedar here. Maybe you get some sweetness of the vanilla uh, mixing in with the benzoin. Benzoin can be kind of vanillic as well as resinous. So it kind of has that resinous, woody base note to it. Overall, it's mostly a woody fragrance. Uh, I would say it's mostly woody and warm spicy, and this is kind of what it's saying on Fragrantica as well. 
it's mostly kind of a woody, warm, spicy, sort of ambery type fragrance. But it has that nice bright opening. I have to say, so I haven't always, you know, liked all the fragrances that they've sent to me. And uh, I'm pretty straightforward about that on, here on the channel. But this one is good. Is it as good as Ombre Royale, which is my favorite by them? I don't know. I mean, Ombre Royale is very, very good. That's, that's the one that made me say, wow. Um, there was a couple that were, I was like, eh, you know, so-so, could go either way. Uh, there was a couple that I didn't like at all. But this one, I will say, is probably worth that niche price tag. Because uh, sometimes they aren't, you know, with niche brands, you're like, is this really niche? Is this really worth the price tag? I'm not sure, but this one is solid. Yeah, I would say it's truly unisex, pretty right down the middle, maybe slightly leaning a little bit more masculine. And you can definitely tell, I mean, it's very well blended, very well crafted. With the um, pressurized atomizer, I would say just make sure to give it, you know, give it a little extra because sometimes the pressurized atomizers, they don't give you as much juice per spray as like a regular one. So just, you know, give it two sprays instead of one spray. Yeah, solid fragrance. I would recommend it. I would check it out. So yeah, so I'll th throw links in the description. The only other one that I would really, really tell you guys to check out is either get the sample kit that if it has Ombre Royale, because Ombre Royale is probably their best fragrance that I've, one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. And uh, you know, I don't know why I wish they could send me a full bottle of that one instead of these, um, but it's fine. Beggars can't be choosers. But yeah, check this one out. Check out Ombre Royale. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.